Imagine a stock that has the potential to skyrocket, but is surrounded by a whirlwind of speculation and uncertainty. Today, we're diving deep into Palantir's stock and the burning question, can it reach $1,000? Hold on to your seats, because this is going to be a thrilling analysis. Okay, let's take a look at the news. Palantir, once a secretive government contractor, has recently been making headlines, thanks to its CEO, Alex Karp. The company's stock has been on a roller coaster ride, especially with the looming decision on a massive $611 million NHS contract. The stakes are high. The NHS, which oversees UK healthcare, is grappling with a staggering $10 billion inefficiency problem. Palantir believes it can be the solution, proposing a five year contract to streamline patient and administrative data. But it's not all smooth sailing. Concerns about data misuse have cast a shadow over Palantir's reputation in the UK. There's even talk of the NHS possibly dividing the contract among multiple tech firms, which could muddle data integration. In recent times, Palantir's stock has seen a decline of about 12%, with a 2.5% drop in just the last 24 hours. But here's where it gets interesting. Crowd polls from August 14th and 16th show a strong buying sentiment with 91.7% and 84% respectively leaning towards buy. Palantir's Q2 2023 earnings report paints a promising picture. They reported a 13% YOY revenue increase, hitting $533 million. The international government segment alone surged by a whopping 31% YOY. Their operating expenses stood at $416.3 million, but they managed a net income turnaround of $28.1 million. For the first half of 2023, they've already raked in $1.1 billion in revenue. CEO Alexander Karp has been vocal about their new AI service, calling it a game-changer. They're in discussions with over 300 customers for their new AI platform, which leverages large language models to analyze private data. The demand for this service is unparalleled, something Palantir hasn't seen in its two-decade history. Financially, they're on solid ground. They've announced a stock buyback program worth up to $1 billion, backed by a robust balance sheet showing $3.1 billion in cash and equivalents by the end of Q2. Their projections for Q3 2023 anticipate revenues between $553 million to $557 million, and they're optimistic about achieving gap profitability. Now, let's weigh the pros and cons. On the bullish side, Palantir boasts strong growth prospects, a vast addressable market, a formidable customer base, and cutting-edge technology. Their net dollar retention rate stands at an impressive 115% in 2023, signaling high customer satisfaction. However, on the bearish side, there are concerns. Palantir's bullish revenue and profitability guidance for 2023 could be jeopardized if key government contracts aren't renewed. They face stiff competition in the AI and data analytics domain, and their association with government activities might deter potential customers. So, can Palantir stock reach $1,000? To hit that mark, it would need to surge by a factor of 5.5, pushing its market cap to $209.6 billion. If they maintain a growth rate of 25% annually, it would take them about 7.6 years to reach $100. But reaching $1,000? That's a more complex equation, factoring in projected revenue growth, market dynamics, and other variables. All right, let's shift gears and talk about the upcoming trading session's surge signals for Palantir. We have upward signals at $15.05, $15.94, and $16.45. On the flip side, downward signals are pegged at $13.65, $13.14, and $12.25. What do these numbers mean? Well, these are crucial price points that could confirm a directional move for the stock. If the stock approaches or breaches these levels, it could indicate a potential bullish or bearish trend. For instance, if Palantir's stock price crosses the $15.05 mark, it might continue its upward trajectory, potentially aiming for the next surge signal at $15.94. 
Conversely, if it drops below $13.65, it could be a sign of a bearish trend, with the stock potentially moving towards the $13.14 mark. Phew! That was a deep dive into Palantir's stock potential. If you found this analysis insightful, do us a favor and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth stock analyses. And hey, what's your take on Palantir's future? Do you see it reaching that elusive $1,000 mark? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let's get the conversation rolling.